Uh, coaching Lyle on Excels was a unique experience. I've never done it before. I've obviously looked at VODs, but this is a different experience, you know, being with two competitive players that know what they're doing. It was actually, a, it was a really fun experience, you know, getting that, that third party experience when like when someone's watching you. All right, so going over drop spots, um, looking at the map, a lot of places to land. Only place you can't go is Divot, that's where I go. Their preferred drop spot is Poverty Houses right outside Retail Row. And honestly, it's just preference of, of where you're most comfortable, where you know where gun spawns, chest spawns are. If you have one team landing here, that could be very good for you, yeah. or it could be bad if they want to push you. All right, we're just starting a duo game, focusing on landing spots ideally, and then going into ideally how they play a competitive game rotating into retail, which they like doing. Whoever's higher should be scouting, see who's landing around them. Whoever's lower should be trying to get that first drop, first chest spawn, first gun they see. All right, so you have an eh loadout. I try and find some other loot, at least try to get you a shotgun. So this is where scouting comes into effect. Did you guys see who, if anyone landed on retail hill? If anyone landed at Broken House is outside Salty. The things they were lacking from early game landings were basically scouting, um, seeing what teams are around you, managing your early game mats, where you're gonna farm, where you're gonna rotate into. So should we just scout one before we even go into retail? I think you should scout one. One person should be on top retail hill. One person should be grabbing the chest. You have no shield, you have 50 shield. So you definitely need the chests. Do you guys have any info on the teams that were retail? No. If you don't know where they are, there's no point in pushing in. Uh -huh. I mean, we could go back back west, check out the broken houses yeah. for like, extra shields. In front of us, in front of us, what? What direction? Right, down. East, 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 east. Okay. Put it up, put it up. I'm gonna go for height. At first, I thought the person I was building guess was the opponent, but then I realized it was my partner Lyle. So then, yeah, you ramp him. Yeah, and I was like, oh, and then I saw it was him. I was like, oh, okay. And then I saw him building over here, and I was like, oh, he's got the high gun on, on us. My main concern for Lyle and Excels is uh, communication. It's something that distinguishes top players from average players. He's dropping down. I'm dropping down. Yeah. He might break us. He doesn't have. He does have an. RPG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's all the way down. All the way down. When I broke in in front of us, east. Southeast. Not a team? Where are you? One team. Uh, I think there's two teams here. One's that broken house. You could disengage. Use launch pad and disengage. That's a good move. 30 seconds left with circle. You're gonna yeah. have more teams rotating on you. Go west, and then there's a launch pad on me. Someone no. building northwest? He sees you. Yeah, we're gonna rotate southeast. Get a position in zone and farm more mats. In terms of playing together while in the build battle, there was no like synergy. We were just kind of doing our own thing, some good shot calls about falling back down and, and that he's breaking out the building or when to retreat. So this is the guy that came out of retail. Yeah. You called him out, you saw him, you saw his launch pad down, and then one of you used it, and then one of you were like five seconds behind him. Yeah. And communication is just more than talking with him. It's everything that you should know about the game, but you need to say it to your teammate. I would prioritize circle rather than getting mats right now. Okay. Where would be like a good spot? Because everything is kind of open field. Paradise circles, you ideally want to take a paradise hill because your big priority is northwest where you guys just were. There's going to be team, most likely teams coming where you just were. Just getting a hill early. Even if you don't get circle, getting set up and not fighting low ground early is going to help you. So if there's a rift hill, Ideally, play for that hill if you can. Two teams fighting, two times. In the valley. In tournaments, this is where you're gonna get your points. You're on a hill, you're in the center of the circle. Yeah. This is where you start looking for third parties. And this is where you get your big time kills. So you're not in, so yeah. one of you needs to get in. If one, of, if one of you's getting focused, the other guy should be focusing on basing up in the new circle. Okay, okay. So that's maybe not dropping all the way it's off the hill, but inching off a little bit. On the left right here, we're pinched. Another team northeast. You gotta calm that. We're getting jailed. Which team wanna focus? That guy's white. Which team are you focusing? On the left, northwest. I knock one? I don't know which one. I'm gonna push us. Let's, let's kill the last on the left. Or do you wanna go right? Yeah. You 
can leave, leave play for yourself. They're pushing us right now from the south side. They're on top of me. <laughs> yeah, we were pinched. So when Bizzle was coaching us, he gave us more options than what we were thinking during the time we were playing. And even when you're fighting, you have to know when circle changes. Okay. You have to be watching that. Yeah. This hill you saw, you saw it wasn't taken. Mm -hmm. Just get up here, scout out where teams are rotating in west to north. Because mm -hmm. this is your big focus over here. If you were on the hill, look at that. One shot with an AR. Those are just kills you could be getting that you're yeah. missing. Really, you were on the edge of circle. You need to get up and you need to figure out where people are. We're in a bad position and like if we communicated more, we would have been able to capitalize on like different teams at the same time instead of, you know, just sitting there idly. In an actual competitive, you're gonna have at least 20 other people within the vicinity, in the zone, shooting at you guys. When you guys leave, look at Lyle. You did not have to go all the way down there. All you have to do is from where Excel is, go just branch off, make a little like wood platform, maybe mm -hmm. like two out. If you get knocked out, you're still on the edge of a mountain. You can catch yourself right around here, platform out and sit right up here. Okay. Then you'd have a really good sight on this team coming in. So Lyle, you didn't know this team was coming yeah. until they started shooting grenade launcher. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what you heard. Yeah. But look how long he knew about it. It's a good, what, three, four seconds? Yeah, three, four, five seconds. That's huge. The moment you at, the moment you laser this guy, get him really weak, that's that should be the call we need to rotate. Yeah. That's your chance. Okay. Miscommunication and mispositioning ourselves, which is something we should work on as well, and also using terrain to our advantage. I think you guys need to improve on who's making the calls on when to rotate. Yeah. Who's speak who's speaking up? You set yourself up bad when you just ran the open. I realized that communication is super huge throughout the fight. And even while I was fine, I noticed like I was like really quiet and I was just like focusing and being more assertive and saying, look, I knocked this guy down. This is our window of opportunity to push this team and get out of this pinch. When to take fights, when to rotate, how to capitalize in situations. Just playing in front of Bizzle and like him, like personally watching us play was very nerve wracking, but like I was still wanting to do my best uh, just to show him that, you know, of what I'm capable of when he was Coaching us, it pretty much uh, gave me new perspectives to think of and to think more outside of like my, my mind only. <laughs> they basically know everything they're doing, just a little minor tweaks here and there and you'll see them in the kill feed eventually. They're a good team. They'll be up there soon.